Well, hello there YouTube, it's me, DJ Slowenthro, also known as RacerBoy3x, which is my channel name. Uh, today I will be showing you guys how to remove clipping from an audio track or song. Um, this does not completely fix high pass clipping. Anywhere from 70 hertz up, which is 70 oscillations on up, may not be fixed using this process. This is to fix sub bass lines and or subsonic bass lines and audio tracks. Now we're going to start off here by importing a song. We're going to pull this uh, pull the song onto Audacity. I'll pull uh, Trey Songs, Nicki Minaj, Bombs Up, a very good beat, but the one problem is is that it has a bad problem with clipping. The program I'm using at the moment is Audacity 1.3. Um, I am to show the clipping that is that you can't really see here. You're just like, oh well, it just looks like a waveform to a song. You can go ahead and zoom in, check it out. You know, it, it looks like a waveform. So highlight the entire track. Go to Edit. Or no view, show clipping, and it shows you all these little red lines, and that's where the beat clips out of the playing spectrum, which means that the top of a waveform has been cut off, and ba it's basically clipped, meaning like a, basically like a pair of scissors, and it just clips off the top of it and makes it a flat piece of line that is very very bad for anything audio such as subwoofers, amplifiers, head units, RCAs, etc, etc, etc. Very bad for basically anything that plays audio. So in order to fix this and to try to prevent any audio equipment damage, we will start off by you know opening the Audacity 1.3, dragging on what song ever you need to fix, then highlight the entire track, show the clipping so you know it's there, and then amplify it, go to effects, amplify, negative uh, 6 dB, that should work, should work perfectly fine. Uh, just wait on that to get done. Once you see that, you think, oh, well, the red lines are gone, it must be done, I'm done, I'm going to go play it now. No, 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 it is not complete. This is not fix it. I've had so many people ask me, oh, if I just amplify it down, that gets rid of the red lines, I'm done, right? No. What you have to do now is select the whole thing if it deselected, hit copy, click down the gray area, paste it, and now you'll have two. Well, you might be asking, why did I make two? Well, the very first one on the top, I like to go to effects and equalization. I flatten it, flatten the equalization if it's not already flat, and then go to drawing curves. Do not do graphic EQ. Um, do the drawing curves so you can go to the 70 hertz marker, and then move over one to the right, go up, click there, pull it down just a hair. Now click over somewhere onto the right side of it, of the same dot you clicked, click it drag down and then over and it should stop itself see I could just keep pulling that way and it won't do anything alright now this will do a low pass on the first part of the beat this will fix any clipped baseline it will actually reshape the baseline so it won't be you know clipped off the top and won't be flat anymore and then go from here and do amplify or effects amplify it says 6.3 don't do that because it'll say new peak amplitude negative 0.0 do 6.2 rather than 6.3 hit ok just wait on that to amplify and as you see no clipping we're good to go that's all set click on the second track go to effects equalization flatten it Drag out the sides again so you can stretch out the scale a little bit more and see it. Uh, click where you clicked last time. Drag down on the left side. And it should cross over right around 70 hertz again. 
Uh, pull down this one just a hair, just so you can you can amplify it back up later. It's not going to change anything. And repeat that. Hit Control R to repeat process of equalization instead of going to scrolling up to effects and then hitting repeat. You can just Control R. That's a shortcut. All right, once you did that, it should have got rid of any baseline that was below 70 hertz. Now hit effects, amplify, it says 5.2, we'll do 5.1. All right, now that that is amplified, both are amplified now. Um, now, on the gain, on the low pass, drag it down to negative 10 dB, and on the gain, on the high pass, drag that one down to negative 6 dB. Hit File Export. And you can just name it Test since it's only going to be a uh, file that you can delete later. As you can see, all that stuff alone, you don't necessarily have to name anything right now. This is a file that takes two exports to finish. We're not to export. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to plug the website that uh, had me do this tutorial www.downforsound.com there will be a link in the, the below bar and uh, I am DJ Slow and Throw on downforsound.com please stop by join have a chat with us talk to some of the more famous bass heads on YouTube or from YouTube and or just from the forum we have Jonathan Price uh, Twisted Child 420 Exo Contralto Six Dogs One Too Short uh, Gary Killian he's, he's on here he's just not on here very much that guy's pretty crazy. Um, we got me, but you know, if you could just talk to me anywhere you want, uh, and just you know, come and join the family. Uh, okay, get back to the beat here. After this has exported, we can click off of these two. We can then get rid of those two because they're done. Move my cam studio out of the way. All right. I named it test, so we can just drag this test and drop it. No import is test dot three. And as you see, it looks really small. That is actually a very good thing. Go to effects amplify. It says 7.5. We'll go 7.4. Give it a second to amplify. All right, now you are virtually done removing clipping. Congratulations! You've done something that that should have been done when the beat or rap or any music in general should have been done a long time ago. Because I see it as when they put music on CDs, they should be clean and clear, you know, for anybody. Because I would show where they actually took their time to export. And it doesn't take that long to do this process. I don't understand why they can't. But when they do it on the CDs, then it just, they clip the crap out of it to make it louder. Then people are thinking, oh, this sounds good. But to any person that actually cares about their system and equipment, never, ever, ever play music that is clipped. Always check it on Audacity first by going to View, Show Clipping. Uh, and once you do that, you'll know if it clips or not. Alright, this is that version. That was the uh, fixed version. I'll drag in the original. And you can view the original to the newly done version. And as you can see, this one clips a hell of a lot. The original did. The new one clips 0%. Alright, now to get the full quality, after even on the first export and the second export, Go to export and please keep the settings either on mp3 files or you can put it on OGG Vorbis, WAVE, or even uh, I've used FLAC files. Those are pretty good too. You can rename it whatever you want. You know, just type in something. Uh, if you got the options on mp3, please set the quality at 320 kbps, which is kilobits per second, um, and keep it on constant. Keep stereo the same, and then once you export it, you'll save it and change all your names to the artist name, track title, or, uh, album title, track number, if you really think that matters, 
uh, the year it was created, the, the genre, comments encoded by, you can put your name in there on the encoded by, even if you want to, you can make your own little section, call it like, uh, like remastered by, and then you can do that, you can make your own sections and whatnot, just go ahead and save it, it'll be up, actually kilobits per second. While that is exporting again, I'll go back to Down for Sound here. Please check this place out. As I said, link will be in the bottom bar. And uh, just uh, drop by, and stop in, talk to some people, you know, pick up some music in the music modified section. But please, 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 if you do get here, there is there is a rule that you cannot upload torrents. You cannot upload music that has not been modified in some shape, way, or form. So do not go in there and upload music or uh, links to torrents or actual torrents because this will get you a permanent ban just like that. They'll, they'll drop the ban hammer on you that quick because there's a strict rule that has been set for the webmaster, too short, that this cannot be done and if, if there was stuff like this on his site he could be sued and we would lose the site so please please keep that stuff off the site um, but other than that we're pretty cool and down to earth we have decaf you know pretty famous uh, audio guy here he does uh, he slows music and stuff of that sort uh, we got me of course we got exo uh, exo control to online right now twisted child 420 is online team nemesis nemesis DJ he has a shitload of 12s um, Nathan at Excess Power, that guy, he hooks up people with some good deals on some uh, good Excess Power batteries. And just a whole bunch of other people. Um, I'm going to thank Ethan for making the post about um, asking and making a poll on who should uh, make the clipping to, like, how to reduce the clipping. Um, but other than that, uh, I'm out, guys. I, this is, I've done my job here. I hope you guys can follow my directions as I go. I know this is my very first tutorial. I will be making more tutorials soon if you guys ask for them. Just ask them in PMs or ask them in Down for Sound. Um, if you need more help, PM me and I might add you on Yahoo or anything. But don't ask me to add you on Yahoo if you're just like going to be creeping on me. Because that's kind of gay. Um, well, yeah, I, that, it, it, yeah, it would just be horrible. Well, I'm out of here, guys. Peace out. It was DJ Sloan Throw for you. If you guys want more tutor tutorials, just stop by, drop a comment down below, uh, subscribe, add me as a friend. Please share this video with anybody that you think would care about it. And, uh, well, peace out.